Okay, so today we're looking at the Wakeman Outdoors uh, axe. Um, it's a camp axe or hatchet, depending on what your terminology is. Uh, got it on Amazon. I was looking for an inexpensive, multi-purpose tool to take with us camping. Uh, my son and I, he went camping for the first time. We got a little yurt, had to chop some firewood. Um, and, you know, overall, for what you get on Amazon, it was not bad. Um, the blade itself was sharp enough to get a couple of logs cut, but I definitely would sharpen it uh, beforehand, but this was literally last minute purchase. We needed something immediately and everything that was local was um, <laughs> way too expensive for what you got. So to check this thing out, it comes in a nice little handled um, case with a locking mechanism. So to lock and unlock, you just flip this lever down. All right, so we have a little hiccup. And that's one of the downsides to this thing. Everything in this plastic holder is very stiff. It hasn't been worked enough. Literally, it's only come out a handful of times. Um, it's got a little magnesium fire sort of thing. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in here. This little piece right here locks the magnesium striker inside so you can pull this out get your little fire starter slide that back in and you'll twist to lock it there's the lever for the X so you at an angle pull it up pull it out there's your blade edge See that? Got your hammer on the back end, hatchet on the front. And the reason I got this was because I wanted something that was solid in the handle, but still had a saw. Can you find the saw? Do you see it? It's got a saw. And it's got a little hole there for clipping or hanging. But the saw itself, slide. sorry, it's hard to do this one-handed. Yeah, screw it. The saw is actually down here. So you open this up, and inside the handle is your saw. Now, it's not designed to go cutting down huge trees or even cutting pine. It's for um, taking, like, small limbs and branches off and I would say by small I mean maybe two inches or less because you're gonna work on it for a while it's not very sharp um, in the sense that it's gonna cut through oak or anything so it's gonna really take you a while but I was able to use it to cut some small limbs off of some firewood to get uh, some kindling and stuff Overall, it was pretty pretty nice little tool. I would recommend it if you're looking for something that's compact and, and not so uh, cumbersome. Because most of the axes I found locally that had a saw attachment were the folding ones. And the problem with the folding ones is that it's got a whole bunch of gaps and you're trying to use the axe itself. And you're pinching yourself every time you grab it tight. And that axe and the saw connection... Um, flexes so you're pinching yourself or you're cutting yourself or whatever so i wanted something that was completely concealed and that's what i found and really it's not bad I, like i said i would sharpen the um the blade up a little bit not too much because you know you do want it to be uh lasting for a while <clears throat> and it comes pretty sharp already but again i was using it on oak and not a softer wood like pine or anything like that and I did not use the, the magnesium stick, so I don't know how well that works. But overall, it was a good, good little deal. I'd look into it if you need something that's uh, portable. And I'd say it weighs at least three pounds, so it's got some heft to it. I like it. It's pretty cool. Very versatile. So check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Um, as always, I appreciate you. And on to the next.